Even the, the, the pores on her skin, she looks... Is she soft or is she hard? Japan just delivered fully performing female robots. Japan has remained at the forefront of robotics technology for a while now, and continues to maintain its position. Let's take a look at the latest happenings in the Japanese robot sphere. Japan's forestry industry tests robots. The yellow four-legged robot walks up a grass slope, then marches through a forest full of twigs. It even mounts a stump and then climbs down unassisted. It's part of a trial run by Forestry and Forest Products Research Institute and SoftBank Corp, using robots produced by Boston Dynamics. The goal? Find a solution to Japan's chronic labor shortage in the forestry industry. If successful, it could increase reforestation in the country and help Japan achieve its carbon neutrality goals. Forestry work is mostly manual, and today's workers are aging and declining in number. So researchers are hoping that the robots will be able to help humans monitor and maintain Japan's forests. A group of Japanese researchers launched a field test last month to incorporate these electric-powered quadrupeds to improve the safety and operational efficiency of forestry work. The robots use geospatial data, Wi-Fi, and other communication technologies to cover vast areas of land independently. In recent years, the government has been backing smart forestry initiatives, which use robots and other tech to improve communication, reforestation efforts, and disaster recovery. The trial runs will be conducted twice before the end of this year, one in Shimokawa, Hokkaido, and the other in Tsukuba, Ibakari Prefecture. MHI tests using robots at mall. Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Limited and Mitsubishi Heavy Industries Machinery Systems Limited have begun testing of an automated valet parking system at a large-scale commercial facility near Tokyo. The system employs automated guided vehicle or AGV robots dubbed Stan, manufactured by Stanley Robotics, a French venture-backed company. The event marks the first application of this type of autonomous vehicle handling system in a commercial complex in Japan. The testing is taking place in a designated parking zone at Shisui Premium Outlets, an outlet mall located in Chiba Prefecture, which is operated by Mitsubishi Estate. Vehicles will be transported autonomously by AGV robots in an environment close to actual application to verify handling performance and evaluate user satisfaction. MHI Group said it is targeting nationwide deployment of automated valet parking systems as well as automated systems for transporting finished vehicles. Working in collaboration with Stanley Robotics, a world leader in the development and deployment of automated valet parking systems using AGV robots, MHI has been undertaking demonstration testing since October 2021. The AGV robot Stan equips with a platform that lifts the vehicle's four wheels and automatically transports the vehicle indoors or outdoors. This robot started commercial operation in 2018 in a parking garage at Lyon Saint Exupéry Airport in France and has subsequently gone into service at Gatwick Airport in London. Yakiniku Chain introduces VTuber meat delivery robots. While use of robots in the service industry is by no means a new topic in Japan, there has been an observable uptick in gravitation towards it due to some preference for contactless customer-server interaction during the pandemic. An example of this has been server and delivery robots as seen by one ramen chain's ramen robot staff. Popular yakiniku chain Watami is embracing the same trend with a twist. For a limited time, the nationwide grilled meat dining chain has been offering VTuber server robots. From June 13 to July 10, select Watami locations Ikebukuro Seibu East Exit Store, Kokubunji South Exit Store, Kawagoe Cree Mall Store, and Sakato North Exit Ekimai Store in Japan were offering virtual servers using the Ketibot, a large-screen touch tablet-equipped food delivery robot. The robots, fitted with a screen that displays the personality of one of three selected VTubers, will greet and guide customers. After the customer is seated, the robot will provide an explanation of the restaurant and first order to the customer using the large touch order screen mounted on the robot in a pre-recorded video by the VTuber, which is in hope of cutting down on customers waiting for staff. Of course, human staff is also on hand to make sure things run smoothly. The three VTubers who will be displayed as attached personalities to the staff robot were selected from a vote on the live streaming app Reality. AI Robot Chef Leads Pasta Cooking in Restaurant 
A fourth-generation AI chef in Japan can prepare pasta rapidly and serve customers on time and has worked at the restaurant for four years. The AI chef was developed by the robotics firm TechMagic and the Japanese cafe owner Pronto Corporation. It can not only boil water and make pasta, but also clean up afterward. P-Robo is the name of the robotic chef, as was initially reported by Food & Wine. With four pans at its disposal, it can quickly prepare and cook pasta meals to serve its clients on time. P-Robo, which stands for Pronto, can quickly create an incredible 90 meals every hour when functioning at full capacity, making it quicker than fast food. Starting with frozen pasta, the robotic chef quickly defrosts each dish in only 10 seconds before heating it and making the sauces. P-Robo is an actual multitasking machine since it only takes 75 seconds to create the first dish and 45 seconds to serve each subsequent dish. Although China and the United States now control the self-driving vehicle market, Japan prides itself on pioneering the world of cooking robots by integrating its industrial and culinary heritage. The robot has been relentlessly working in the kitchen of E. Vino Spaghetti for four years and is a fourth-generation release. The restaurant is not entirely automated, despite Japan Today's claim that it was partly developed to address concerns with human resource development in the food business. In the next five years, Pronto claims that they want to install P-Robos in up to 50 restaurants and provide P-Robos to other restaurant chains. That is consistent with TechMagic's general strategy for deploying its robots to address issues in restaurants. How human-like do we want robots to be? From the $6 million man to Robocop to the Terminator, Hollywood has produced a pantheon of memorable cyborgs. These hybrids tend to destroy society, or save it, according to their own goals. But they fascinate for the same reason. They blurred the lines between humans and robots in ways that have never happened in our history, but just might be part of our future. Fully functional cyborgs are still quite a ways off, but scientists are pioneering a new way to commingle human and machine. A Japanese team has designed a robotic finger that's covered with living skin grown from actual human skin cells. The process gives the robotic appendage an extremely lifelike look, not least because the skin can move and flex naturally as the three-joint digit does. To the touch, the skin also feels far more like human skin than silicone robot skins and can even heal when cut or split. To create the lifelike appendage, Takeuchi and colleagues crafted a kind of skin tissue cocktail and then molded the material around the artificial finger to produce seamless and natural-looking coverage. Application of the skin was a two-part process. The team first mixed collagen and human dermal fibroblasts, the two main ingredients in our skin's connective tissues. The finger was submerged in this solution, and while culturing in an incubator for three days, this artificial dermis adhered to the digit as the tissues naturally shrank to produce a solid, close-fitting coating over the finger. This coating served as a foundation for the molding and application of a second coat, an epidermis, made up of the same human skin cells that comprise some 90% of our own skin's outer layer. The second solution was poured on the finger multiple times, from different angles, and left to culture for two weeks to produce the finished product. Just how human do we want robots to look? We leave that to you. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.